Tomorrow marks one year since the day that shook the city of Holyoke to its core. A pregnant woman riding on a PVTA bus caught in the crossfire of a shooting that ended in the death of her baby, Ezekiel. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live after speaking with city leaders reflecting on that horrific day one year later. Abby and Chris, Mayor Joshua Garcia says it's a day that's left a lasting impact on the paper city. On October 4th, 2023, Shots rang out in Holyoke during an altercation at the intersection of Sargent and Maple Streets. Gunfire striking a pregnant woman riding a PVTA bus, ending in the death of the baby she was carrying named Ezekiel. I broke down crying. Like, as soon as I heard this news, it was like, I, like, in this office, just broke down crying. The incident hitting home for many, including the city's mayor, Joshua Garcia, a father of 12 year old twins. He tells Western Mass News he rushed to the hospital to be with the family. This particular incident was the first time that I actually got shook and worried and questioned why I was here. And I can't imagine any person um, ever having to experience what Selena experienced that day while riding a trusted public transportation system. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it really resonated. Five suspects have been charged in the case. Three of them remain behind bars as they await trial. In the meantime, Garcia tells Western Mass News, mother and victim Selena Santana and her family are healing. But Garcia emphasizes nothing can justify losing an unborn child while riding a bus. With the anniversaries coming around, there is a, a, a emotional impact for sure. Um, uh, but, you know, as far as her injury is concerned, she's she's walking. She's doing a lot better. Now the work continues to make Holyoke a safer city to live, work and visit. Every corner of our city should be able to live decent, healthy um, and safe lives. It bothers me that my kids can play outside and not have to worry about what's going on and that other kids don't have that same privilege. Last year, Mayor Garcia proposed Ezekiel's plan named after the baby that was lost that fateful day. The plan carried a million dollar price tag in order to fund strategies to improve the health and safety of city neighborhoods. While the city council did not approve the plan, the work does continue. All more details from the Holyoke Police Department and the Board of Health tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting in the studio for Western Mass News, I'm Olivia Hickey.